We are here talking about LDP, local defense personnel recruitment. And when is it going to take place? It's going to take place uh, from 18th of June to the 4th of July. It's going to be in this, it's the, the recruitment is going to be in two forms. We're going to have the general recruitment and then special recruitment. The general recruitment will start from the 18th through to the 4th, 18th of June through to the 4th, Saturday 18th of June through to the 4th of July. Now we are going to have special recruitment. The special recruitment will be for um, the Air Force, drivers and mechanics, and medical personnel. And that one will take place over two days. That's the 30th of June and the 1st of July. I'll say that again. We are going to have two days for special recruitment for people to join the Air Force and also uh, drivers and mechanics and medical personnel. And that will be on the 30th of June and 1st of July. Uh, the general recruitment is countrywide. Every district or every region has been given a quota based on its the size of its population. So when it comes to general recruitment, it will be countrywide. The special recruitment is going to take place for those applying to come to the Air Force. That's on the 30th of June and the 1st of July. It's going to be at Kololo uh, Ceremonial Grounds. 30th June and 1st July, those bidding to get into the Air Force will be 30th July, 30th June and 1st July. And those uh, medical personnel uh, will also come on 30th June and 1st July. Where will it be? Kololo uh, ceremonial grounds. Now, for the drivers and mechanics, we'll also be looking, making a special recruitment on the 30th of June and 1st of July. But where will it be? Gaddafi barracks in Jinja. So for drivers and mechanics, you wait for the 30th and uh, 30th of June and 1st of July, and you will come You'll have two special days, 30th of June and 1st of July. How many uh, people are we uh, trying to recruit for the Air Force? 600. How many drivers are we trying to, drivers and mechanics are we trying to get? 1,000. And uh, um, medical personnel, we're looking for 100 doctors. 100 doctors. Now, so... The total people, the total number of LDP is going to be recruited is 10,000. Of those, 8,300 will be from all the society. From It will be general recruitment for 8,300. And then for the 1,700, it will be special recruitment. Um, who are we trying to recruit? What's the criteria? We're looking for all Ugandans. You have to be Ugandan. And what's proof of being Ugandan? Your national ID. The defense spokesperson will speak about the ID and he'll elaborate. You have to be between 18. You have to be an adult Ugandan, female or male. And so the ages we are taking are 18 to 30. And then we need an, a letter a letter stamped and endorsed by the LC1 and the DISO. And what are these letters? These letters are not proof of nationality. These letters are proof that you do not have a crime, that you do not have a legal or a criminal liability. So whoever is coming to join us is not running away from society uh, after con committing crime. Uh, what is the education standard that we are looking at? You have to be UAC, which is uh, S4, or its equivalent. There are some certificates that are equated to S4. So it's S4 or its equivalent and anything above S4. Uh, we have 
preference for certain targets. We're looking at artisans. Artisans, a minimum gem kono. We're looking at welders, carpenters, plumbers, uh, masons, these, these who deal with cement and, and all that. And then we're also looking at scientists and technicians. We're also looking at engineers of all sorts, engineers and para-engineers. We've told you we're looking at medical doctors. We're also looking at journalists like you. Please come and join the forces. We're looking at musicians. And uh, we're looking at all other Ugandans who have S4 and above. But we have certain preferences. Now, at this juncture, I want to say that uh, we will, the recruitment will be guided by the Ministry of Health uh, guidelines at that period. They will give, it's always the Ministry of Health that will give us the guidelines. The question of national ID. We have had cases of forgeries. When we simply follow the mean or national identification number, we end up uh, finding people that uh, indeed presented themselves as uh, the owners of that name when actually they were forging. They were forging. As we speak, we have about 250 local defense personnel that cannot earn a say because they forged the name and therefore they are going to be prosecuted. I need to emphasize here. Anybody who represents a forged document, whether national ID or uh, academic paper, will be prosecuted. There is no question about it. So don't dare come. Therefore, to avoid this, we insist on each candidate should come with his or her national identification. We believe every Uganda now has been received, even those who are in the schools have. The other element I wanted to emphasize also, you must be in good health. You, know, you, you, you skipped that one. You must be in good health. You must be medically fit and ready to undergo medical test. Please, if you know you have chronic diseases, don't waste your time. If you know you have uh, you are HIV, we sympathize with you, but please don't come because we don't want to kill you. Uh, therefore, it's important that you come prepared to undergo medical test. The EPA leadership has set up teams to ensure that every district is catered for. The difference is that districts have been patched up in regions, according to the regions where they are. So people from, say, Bukoma and Simbi uh, will converge where Greater Massacre has been uh, devised to converge. I'm giving Bukoma and Simbi because that's my home district. So ensure that you district leaders mobilize your people so that you meet your quotas. Now, if a particular district does not meet its quota, it means chance will go to another district. That's, what, that's how it goes. Three, I have had accusations before of uh, recruitment teams carrying their own people to the recruitment center. I want to assure Ugandans that does not happen with EPDF. And I would indeed challenge everybody that in the event you suspect this has happened, give us the registration of the vehicle, who was driving it, and then we take action. Because we want every district to meet their quota. I thought I should emphasize that. So teams have been uh, earmarked, and they will make sure they go to these regions. Finally, I wish to encourage all Ugandans who meet the criteria given above to come and join the mighty UPDF, and to keep in mind that joining the UPDF is not just a career, but is, most, uh, is mostly a patriotic duty, a calling to serve our mother and Uganda. Lastly, please, if you know you're a parent, don't come. We don't want you on training. Oh, your child is sick. Because that won't happen. You have no access to a phone. We want people who don't have income bonuses. The exception maybe will be on drivers, because I know some, some drivers that we shall require are above 30. Those ones could be married. So for drivers, there will be an exception. That, and that's a detail in, during training. But uh, general recruitment, please, you are strongly advised. If you're already a parent and the people who disturb you with the children, don't.